after this video, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower because baby. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing y'all a very special video. Today's video is going to be all about my shower routine essentials. Now I know you guys have seen a million of my shower routines. If you are subscribed here, I feel like it's very important to pamper yourself, to take your time in choosing your body washes, your exfoliators, and all those things that are gonna make your skin moisturized and glowy. So I thought I would just show you a couple of my favorite products. So let's jump in. So the first product, or I should really say, Thing that I'm going to show you all that just has created a vibe for me. Um, you see it in all my shower routines, but it is this eucalyptus plant here. I hang this in my shower and it just creates the perfect vibe. It just has this fresh smell. It clears you if you have any like respiratory issues or you have a cold. I just love, love, love this. This plant is like a staple beyond me filming. It just looks good in the shower and it just smells good and just creates a vibe. So I would highly recommend, and I get mine from either Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, but I would highly recommend a eucalyptus plant. I just hang it um, where my shower head is and I hang it upside down and literally that's it. And it's just going to smell great, look great, and just be a vibe when you're taking your shower and just put you in a relaxing mood, okay? So the next products that are just as important to me that really help me during the colder months and that I cannot live without is a good ass body wash. So uh, my favorites right now, and I can't pick which one is really my favorite, is between Neutrogena's um, Rain Bath and Dove's Pampering Shea Butter and Warm Vanilla. These two are my guys. I really, really love them. Rain Bath, it has a bunch of herbs in it. Like if you ever tried it, you just know that it just, it's just a vibe. It just calms me. The smell just calms my nerves. And then the next one is the Dove Pampering. Like I mentioned, Shea Butter and Warm Vanilla. This is just, it gives you that warm, just that warm vibe. It just smells so sweet and just like luxurious. And it just leaves my skin so smooth and so glowy before I even begin to do my exfoliators or anything. This is the GOAT. So I really love Dove products, period. But this right here, it just, it does me good. So definitely check out Dove, any of Dove's um, body wash, but I'm really feeling the pampering Shea Butter and Warm Vanilla, and then Neutrogena's Rain Bath. And of course, all these products that I'm mentioning will be in my Amazon store. I have links below, so check it out. So we talked about setting the vibe with a little eucalyptus and our body wash. Now we're moving on to the body polishes. So right now I'm currently using Dove's um, Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk. This is my number one. This is it, y'all. This is it. This is it. And then I'm using Dove's um, Crushed Almond and Mango Butter. <sighs> I just love these, I really do. What's the difference between a body polisher and exfoliator? So an exfoliator is gonna get off all that dead skin and you're gonna have your new layer of fresh skin there. And of course, I love an exfoliator, but for me, I use a body polisher like in between because as you may know, you're not supposed to use an exfoliator all the time because it can be too harsh for your skin. So for me, a body polisher is like a lighter version of an exfoliator. So basically, when I'm not exfoliating, I'm using a body polisher. And y'all, I'm just going to open this right now because baby, this, if I don't tell y'all nothing, if y'all don't order nothing from this video, Please get this. It is the Dove Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk. It just does something to my soul to smell it. I did use this one too, and this one smells great too. Oh my gosh. After this video, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower because maybe. <laughs> Definitely pick up Dove's Exfoliating Body Polish. I love, love, love them. They're inexpensive. I picked both of these up, I believe, at Target but ugh, your skin's just gonna glow, it's gonna feel smooth. 
you gotta have you a body polisher, I'm telling you. Okay, so we talked about the body polishers. Now we're gonna get into the exfoliators. So exfoliation is very important, especially in the drier months. We're now in winter. My favorite exfoliators currently are, tr are from Tree Hut and Clarence. So Tree Hut obviously is going to be inexpensive. You can pick this up pretty much everywhere. I got mine from Target and I believe Ulta because I got a bunch of these. And Clarence is gonna be that luxurious girl. This is, this is the girl. This is their tonic sugar polisher. And this right her, you don't even need lotion when you get out the shower after using this. This has essential oils, all kinds of ingredients that are gonna moisturize your skin. So you get what you pay for. So this is gonna moisturize and exfoliate at the same time. So I'm not hating on her. Now, the Tree Hut exfoliators, this is going to slightly moisturize, but more. Its primary job is to exfoliate. I still love Tree Hut. The smells are amazing. They leave my skin smooth, but you're gonna have to put some moisturizer on. But either way, an exfoliator is a must. It is essential in your shower routine. Um, I do have to say before these shower routines, I was that girl that would, I would always moisturize. Like I, I'm not getting out the shower and just throwing on my clothes, but it was like one of those quick little slap on some lotion and go. But I started to see the importance of taking your time when you do your shower and the importance of self care. So like now I'm exfoliating. This ain't just for on camera. Like I'm making sure I exfoliate or I'm using a body polisher and I'm using a good body wash. Like I do all these things because I see the difference in my skin now than it was six months ago. So please definitely use some of these products even if you just use an exfoliator once in a while or a body polisher. I'm telling you, Mark my word, you're gonna see a difference and improvement in how your skin just looks overall. After we've exfoliated or we body polished our skin and it's nice and smooth and glowy, the next thing that we need to work on is moisturizing our skin. So for me, I need me a good thick body butter or a good thick lotion for moisture. What I'm currently using, and I'm probably going to chop and screw up the name, but it's a Omo Rovisa. Anyway, but it, this was $98. I know, I know, I know. But it is hella, hella, hella worth it. This um, lotion, it just, I can't even explain it to y'all, but when you get it and you put it on, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. But it's just luxurious. It firms the skin. And I'm not saying you have to get this lotion. I would definitely invest and meet a nice lotion. Um, another one that I really like is by Laura Mercier and it's her, am, I think it's like vanilla um, souffle or something like that. That's probably maybe like $30, $40 cheaper than this. Um, but this is currently sold out on their site. So if I find it somewhere, I will link it below. I definitely see the difference in when I'm just using like, let's say a Jergens lotion compared to this. And when it's colder outside, you wanna make sure that you're properly moisturizing your skin and giving your skin that glow because we don't wanna be out here looking ashy. And sometimes when you use those cheaper lotions and you step outside, that air gonna tear up your skin and you gonna be ashy again. So definitely think about investing, if you can, in a nice little lotion. Okay, so something else that I discovered while doing these shower routines and now ain't no turning back from is these exfoliating gloves and then also this texture scrubber. And I get mine um, by Daily Concepts. This is an exfoliating texture um, scrubber, but this brand, Daily Concepts, they have a bunch of different like body exfoliators and scrubbers. Um, but this is one that I just picked up. And then they also have different levels of exfoliation. This one is mild, but it all, it goes all the way from the spectrum of gentle all the way to vigorous. So this one's in between, but basically um, these I like to use when I'm in this, these are light, they're not harsh. I can't even feel like they they don't feel rough or anything, but I like to use these when I'm washing my body and it just gives you this light, like almost like a light scratch, like 
if that makes sense it just feels so good like if your skin is dry and itchy like these are going to take care of you so i definitely like to use these a couple times out of the month i love them so i use this when i'm washing my body i don't use loofahs anymore because i heard that loofahs um, hold a bunch of bacteria so that's all your girl had to hear and i was done with that but I definitely like to use um, these scrubbers because they just feel so nice. They pair well with a good body wash. And if I'm not in the mood to use an exfoliator or whatever, this is gonna do the job on its own as well and get off that dead skin. So yeah, definitely pick up one of these, but this is gonna also set a vibe rather than just using a boring little rag that's not gonna do nothing for you or bacteria fill loofah, I would highly recommend using one of these instead. So besides the gloves and the exfoliating texture scrubber, I really, I just purchased this on Amazon and I love this. I know the holidays are coming up and this will be an amazing gift to someone. It comes with um, other heads that do other things, but I primarily just use this one and I use it when I'm washing my body. So I'll just take my, um, I'll just take my body wash, put a couple drops in, cut this on, and I ain't even gonna cut this on on camera because I know it's dead. The head just moves in a circular motion, and I'll just take it and just wash my body. And this thing just, you talk about self-care, you're just gonna feel relaxed and just feel like you're in a spa or something with this. So I would definitely highly recommend this as well on those days when you just wanna pamper yourself, and I'll make sure that I leave this in um, the description the link for this in the description box but this is amazing okay so we talked about good body washes exfoliators body polishes all that good stuff so, so the next product that i like to use to pair with um my body butter or lotion whatever i'm using for moisture is um body oil so my favorite body oil if you watch my shower routines you know that i'm I'm always going to use this so it's the bio oil skincare oil and this right here is the goat <laughs> i think all my products are the goat that's just how it is but for real this is going to help with skin scarring stretch marks if you have uneven skin tone this is your girl it pairs well with any lotion any body butter and it's just going to leave your skin feeling glowy and looking great so the next one that I'm out of that I gotta go pick up again from Ulta is the Truly's Kuka Oil. It's a pubic hair and skin oil. Um, it also is an antimicrobial boost. What I like to do is just put this all over my body where pubic hair grows and I love the way it feels. So I'll put a little on my chest or you know on my thighs. This is also a great oil to prevent ingrown um, hairs or razor bumps. This is gonna help with that. Um, the next oil that I recently just picked up from Bed Bath & Beyond is Formula 2.0.6, their Go For Glow. And this is a dry body oil. And, this, and the scent is mango and it has jojoba oil in it. So what I like to do is just put this in my purse. And if my hands are feeling dry, or let's say you know you're showing your skin and you're looking a little ashy, you could just put this on and it's a dry body oil so it's gonna um, evaporate and absorb in your skin quickly so i would definitely recommend a dry body oil just when you know you need to spray a little bit and get that little quick glow you see <laughs> this um part of the video is for my lady so these are my go-to intimate care washes currently i'm switching between the two um, I'm using Elle's Foam Wash, and this is their period care wash, but I use this whenever, not just when I'm on my period, and then Apavita's Intimate Daily Wash. So I switch between these, but currently I'm primarily using this one because I just got this one um, in the mail, but this one says it's a gentle cleansing gel, and it has chamomile and propolis in it. What propolis is, I have no clue. I will definitely leave it here, but I just love the smell of this. I love how I feel. It's not drying. Neither one of these are drying, and it just keeps me fresh. I could literally go, if I wanted to, for 48 hours 
with no smell or no weird nothing so i definitely would recommend that you get yourself a good intimate wash so ladies please don't use <laughs> your body wash for your intimate area get yourself a intimate wash just for that area um, this definitely creates a vibe for me. I have to have an intimate care wash. I make sure that when I'm running low, I go ahead and order another one because this is a must to have in your shower routine. So the last product that I will be discussing that is one of my essentials in the shower is a butt wash. <laughs> so you can pretty much use, you know, what you want to use for a butt wash. But for me, I just want to use something that's plain and that's going to get that dirt and whatever else away, which is a Dove bar. And this one is an original. I pretty much use a variety of their, um, of their scents, but I like to pretty much stick with the Dove original. And this is just going to clear out that backside and just get you fresh. And the original is a beauty bar with deep moisture and it's also gonna pr provide moisture. So that's another thing I wanna mention. So a lot of times when we take a shower and, or when we moisturize our body, we forget about that backside. Like your backside needs love too. Like it's dry, think about it, you're sitting on it all day. So what I like to do is take this Kuka oil and I'll put a little drops in my little crack and I'll rub it in because you want to moisturize that area think about how you're rubbing and wiping all day and it's just you got to show that area love too so once it's clean and fresh and I done washed with my Dove bar or whatever soap you're going to use I'll go in while I'm moisturizing my body and use this kooka oil so this is a must also for that area because you do grow pubic hair back there I know a little TMI but hey it's natural we all do so you want to make sure that you moisturize and I also like to use this bile oil on my cheeks it's going to help with uneven skin tone so again all these oils and stuff I know we primarily think about our legs you know our arms our feet and things like that but your backside need love too. So that is it for my current shower essentials. I feel like all these products are really gonna help with your self care. They are gonna get you looking good, your skin glowy, moisturized, raw, just feeling great. I feel like self care is very important. We should all take the time to wanna pamper ourselves and I have made my self care a ritual. So it's not just hopping in the shower real quick. No, I like to get in the shower and just relax. It's almost like a meditation practice to me. I feel like I'm taking care of myself and that I can go on and move about my day and feel great. So anyway, I hope you guys try some of these products. If you are new here, welcome to the BJD family. Hit the subscribe button below and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what products you will be using. And as always, I love you all and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.